Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new series on the channel. I've seen many people play Planet Zoo, so I decided I'm gonna get the game and I'm gonna try it out for myself. So that's what we're doing today, we're gonna be starting out on our career and then maybe at some point we'll move on to our own franchise since I've seen people just move that directly that way. So but we have to learn the game first and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me so I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put your post notifications on so you don't miss another episode like this. And yeah, as always, thanks for listening, viewing, and subscribing. Let's get into the video, guys. Enjoy. It's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard, although I insist you call me Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened and a source of great pride for me. And prides, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Uh, poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker, and she'll expect you to be too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, <laughs> one that isn't on fire. <laughs> Less shouting that way. <laughs> Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma, because we're about to get really hands-on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the zoo. We are here in our career mode. We are going to move forward. So now we have to now locate this grizzly habitat. Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to seven months a year? <laughs> Hmm. These controls are kind of weird. Chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> select one of the bears, and you'll bring up its information panel. I select you, buddy, Zachary. This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Oh my gosh. Dude, that is... Now, this is a fantastic way that to is a just brilliant. You can also get this view Woo. of an animal by simply double-clicking on it. Double clicking okay, on ready? it? Let's oh, pop yeah. over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Right here? Panthera Leo Leo. <gasps> oh <laughs> my gosh. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions. Oh my lions. goodness. The of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome, which is precisely why I handle the training instead. Oh these days. my god! Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? So cute! Um, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. Oh man. That is just beautiful. Oh, it's a mommy lion. I want to take a look at the mommy lion real quick. Hi. Hi. Is your daddy lion here? <gasps> Dad. 
There he is. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Malawa. All right. We have to go to an empty habitat, as it says. Oh, right here. As you can see, it's okay. a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Well, two somethings. Warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Oh, animal trading? There we are. A pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select adopt from the side menu. Normally adopt. the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market adopt. while you learn how it works. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Sent to zoo. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into oh. the habitat. Which that's pretty simple, there. actually. So how about you move them? That into is the actually pretty home. simple. I already when move you them. Ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat. Your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location. So let's go and watch the caretaker. Look at it. A dun a dunbi. A dunbi. That's the a dunbi is the male and this one is the female. Oh, she's red. I like I like her skin tone. It's like really cool. Her skin tone is like really cool. Ife. That is her name, Ife. Okay. Well, right. as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. Well, but I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right, let's get the warthogs the very rudest so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat, and enrichment. Luckily, if okay. you select an animal, you'll bring up the animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Enrichment. Is this what you wanted us to do? Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, add a feeding station. A different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Okay. Where do I go for that? Is it habitat? Oh yeah, it's right here. Food trough. <sighs> this is actually kind of simple. I want to put it like right here. Animals also require Dude, that is cool. to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. That mud bath. bath count towards their it's a mud bath, mate. Specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Ooh. Okay. Oh, nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Enrichment. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry. So Species food the enrichment. Steak, unfinished thingamajigs and what's it's all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. Okay. Hippos. Is this it right here? Let me close this. Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause. Oh, there's an ostrich. Just click the pause button in the bottom right pause. corner. Oh. So let me know. Game is paused. Ah, that's more like it. A quick a little break. break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration, because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. 
Let's oh, yeah. keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat. When is going down? Okay. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just yeah. make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. How do I do the length? It's too long. Oh, here, the length. These, like, camera controls are, like, weird to use. The camera controls are, like, kind of a little bit weird to use in the game. Good work. But it's good. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now, you've yes. probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. I don't know. It said the one way glass. We we'll just put glass. It's fine. I think I'll put up some there. That. That look fine. There we go. Oh, Adding in okay. more windows. That's what they want us to do. Opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on, because it makes them happy, and because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests donation an animal, they'll make a donation. Facilities. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places, like near a viewing point. Donation, donation boxes box are right one here. of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. I put more than one. That's fine. Now, before we fine. adopt our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? Okay. Stopped. To the trading center. Way, as well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything. So two I'm gonna adopt right all of these. Step. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Personally, I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. All right, you finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. Okay, I'm busy. Relax. While we wait for them that. to be collected by the caretakers Ooh. and brought to the habitat. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. Yeah. It's often best to place things like enrichments that. and feeding stations near Large to the habitat football. perimeter so guests can get a really good Slow view feeder. of the animals. Oh, that's a bronze star. Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Cool. Did you know? Build a keeper hut. At 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh, heaven forbid they ever escape. I'm sure I knew the speed that. Finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? Every oh, haha. Uh -huh. an ostrich. So, now we've made the ostrich's lives a bit better, let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it okay. easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we well, that's easy. A keeper hut. Keeper. keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed near to the oh. habitats to make sure the Does keepers really... don't waste their time walking How is this one cheaper? should be looking after the animals. How do I? 
Rotate. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Oh, I can hold it down. That's cool. So hold down Z and then turn it. Put it box. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, our the keeper bear hut. In mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. guests this is not a habitat, like is it not? Facility buildings, and it can affect their happiness negatively. <laughs> in case that wasn't clear. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other Bruh, objects need. The hippo can escape. Can't the hippo escape from here? Your newly built keeper hut. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Okay, facilities and um, utilities. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So, once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Okay. Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare Locate the highlighted to area. It, they will need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches like and hippos. Let's get on to your next Ooh. objective then. Bengal tigers. Bengal Watch tigers. Them, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Okay. I'm here. Righty. Your next job is to build a habitat from scratch right. <laughs> and concrete and Can glass we pause I the game real quick? So go ahead and build it Just okay pretty simple to add I'm not too fond of this camera control this game. Not a very big fan. But it's alright. It's easy to work with. Work around it. And connected. Okay. Can we grab this? Select. The window, can we put one way glass? Habitat, no barrier, habitat gate. Now, editing mode. I've like watched now, many people. The entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Three point seventy. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging that, the barrier height tool upwards. Place you want to make donation. sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 Donation meters. books! want to place a donation now that the box. Is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. We need every dollar we can get. <laughs> okay. these tigers aren't cool. exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Adopt and place two new Bengal tigers. Okay, that's the habitat. Oh my god, these guys are expensive. Place, and most importantly, the tigers won't Should be able fine. to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. Hey. Whilst our Both trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station Add for them. Add a feeding large tray. 
This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals Egg. need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also... Oh, I know how to do this. Down. It's All the do terrain. Make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they water, can rough get a water. nice, refreshing drink. Um. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain <sighs> and selecting the I did it. tool. <laughs> I did it. I got it. Yes, that'll Food. do nicely. Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, add food enrichment. Also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? Does that okay? It's really starting to take shape. Hard shelter. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely, the bad weather. Although, given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter and to habitat. their habitat. You can either build one. At... There's like a dedicated area she wants me to put it in. It doesn't look like it. Just kind of like make that glass. What? Okay, this is kind of annoying. What's going on? Where do you want me to place it? Bring this down. Okay, but then that's all that it gives me. Oh, I'm just kind of. I should actually like unpause the game. <laughs> That would kind of help if I unpause the game. Or Bengal tigers are here. Woo! Shrimp. The tat. Heart shelter. Heart shelter is already oh, at eighty. Poor dabs. I'm sure it can't escape your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain oh, in their okay. habitat. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. All right. Terrain. Rightio. Click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers. Oh, that's perfect. <clears throat> Silver star. Fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the okay, neighbors highlighted is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Woo. Look Still, at these babies. Those tigers look so happy that I doubt they Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> well, that's cute. Oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. Oh, you want me to test the theory? Right. Don't Let's I would not the don't Indian would not think so. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. Right. Whoa. This is a now, dope zoo, bro. This is a dope habitat. Select them to open an information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, I suppose Hi. gandering would just be for geese. Social. Social group? What's wrong? Expand their social welfare and we can get a bit more detail. Okay. I already did. 
Adopt and place uh, new clearly got plenty green of space new. and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. In Click on the social tab at the top of the information panel to see what's wrong. I did. Right. As you can see, the peafowl is a population. population. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Okay. Off you pop to the animal market then. Got them right here. Let's get more of them. Send to zoo. Send to zoo. Good work on those beef fowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. Snow leopard. Aw. What's wrong, buddy? I'm a strong girl. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. In the case what? of these snow <laughs> leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This will give them hot, even with the terrible British okay. weather. You should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. Temperature. Oh, it's hot in here. As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily okay. for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Habitat. Just so you know, cool. if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Coolers and you can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters. But now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. Hmm. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock. So let's make that happen. Snow. Of that should give you a pretty good understanding Ooh. of how to make animals happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all we the have in the now completed any issues with their habitat. Our career that'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo, and that average welfare is a very important statistic. Okay, now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. All right, so we have completed our first um, career thing. We passed the first part of our training. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? Uh, right, not right now, but I will do it in the next episode for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys. And next one, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's head off. Bye, guys. I guess I was right to hurry.